99X and the refreshments, Banditos, it's Barnes, it's Leslie, and it's Halloween. I have a lot of friends, and tell me if you do this or not, but I have a lot of friends that love to explore places that are known for having ghosts or just weird sightings. Yeah, I do. I do. And there's tours for different places. And sometimes I want to, but then I'm afraid I'm going to have nightmares. I'm definitely skeptical of it. I stayed in a hotel in San Antonio that's known yes. to be haunted. And I, you know, you do walk around kind of going, is this for real? Because it gets in your head. Yeah, and a lot of people talk about places in Savannah, but there's a place kind of in your own backyard. Have you heard about the uh, Green Manor restaurant in Union City? I'm about to. Uh, well, this is a historic place. It was kind of a part of a late 19th century farm. It's now this really famous southern restaurant and event space known for their chicken. However, there are some staff members, Barnes, who have claimed to see objects moving around the restaurant, hearing like water running in the basement, only to find the faucets turned off, and even seeing shadowy figures, Mm. like a woman on the porch. That's a lot of action. Come on. Okay, well, we're going to get to the bottom of it. Rebecca is with us from the Green Manor. Hey, good morning, oh. Rebecca. Good morning. You don't sound scared to me, and you work there. Do you own it or work there? Uh, my father owns the restaurant. Okay. Oh, wow. So in the family. Mm-hmm. We need to mm-hmm. understand, what. when did your family take over this restaurant? Uh, so actually, my great-grandfather bought the house um, in... Uh, 1919 for $6,700. Wow. Oh, wow. And he was a doctor, practiced medicine out of the house for a long time, and he passed away in the late 40s. Um, and my great grandmother actually didn't pass away till the early 80s. Late 40s? That means he, he was one of our original listeners. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He he passed away. She lived, and my grandfather actually inherited the house. And they opened it as a restaurant in May of 1990. Um, And since they're passing, my dad has inherited it. Um, But yeah, we have all kinds of fun ghost stories. When did the ghost stories start and why? Yeah, when did you first know it was haunted or think it was haunted? Uh, It actually wasn't too long after they started doing renovations to, you know, the house, putting new wallpaper up and, you know, new carpets down in some of the rooms, drapes up, different things like that. Okay, I want to interject. You said something that I've heard many people who claim to see spirits or ghosts. They say whenever you start changing stuff, and this happened to a house very near me, that once they started changing the house and like cutting up parts of it, Uh that the ghost... And this is for real, for real, started showing up. A little disruption. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't like change. <laughs> oh, you've spoken to them, so they told you? <laughs> I'm just well, playing with you. you. Know. <laughs> exactly. So what did they first, like the first person who witnessed it, what did they see? Uh, she would go outside on the upper uh, patio area and just pace, back and forth pace. Um, they actually was an experience with a uh, police officer. They got an alarm call like one o'clock on a Sunday morning um, where they found a woman standing in the window of a bathroom. He called for backup. All the exterior doors to the uh, restaurant were locked. So there's no way anybody could have gotten in. And once they got inside the house, um, none of their radios would work anymore. They couldn't communicate with anybody outside really? to let them know that he was okay. What year was that? Uh, it's been probably 20 years ago now, maybe. We're talking to Rebecca from the historic Green Manor restaurant in Union City. Looking at the history of this, it looks like one of the people said it was from Hora Westbrook, because the Westbrook family lived there in the 1800s. She was like one of the uh, the sisters that lived there, but... She died in, in front of the mansion, correct? She burned to death. And people are thinking it's her. What? She never wanted to leave the manor. So Cora was actually Drury's wife. So it was actually Florence, which was uh, his sister-in-law, Cora's sister. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was actually taking uh, pails of water out to the workers in the fields. They would burn the crop over at the end of the season and her 
the embers caught her long dress on fire, and she Ooh. dropped the pellets of water and took off running, and she ended up burning to death. How many people fit in your haunted restaurant? About 200. 200? <laughs> that's, a, that's a manor, Barnes. That's it's a, a big manor. place. Are there reservations available tonight for Halloween? Well, we actually are only open for lunch. Oh, you're only open for lunch uh, today? Mm-hmm. Every day. You don't Every day. Friday. You don't close mm-hmm. the haunted restaurant <laughs> on Halloween night, do you? Why would you do that? <laughs> are you scared? We thought about doing like a ghost. Well, you know. You should for Halloween <laughs> there's, night. There's times that I uh, don't like being here by myself. I kind of yeah. get that feeling that it's time to go home and finish work tomorrow. <laughs> Why? What, 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 what feeling? What What have you felt, seen? What? What? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, you know, she she moved stuff around. Um, you just get that kind of uneasy feeling like you're not in the house by yourself. And Wait, Rebecca, you just, have personally, you've personally witnessed some of these sightings. Oh, yeah. Um, my daughter actually, uh, probably about 10 years ago, um, I had bought her a new um, iPod and she loved taking pictures with it. And she was, went outside and took a picture of the front of the house. That's scary. You bought her an iPod? You mean an iPad? (laughs) No, it was an iPod. This was a long time ago. Oh, 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 I thought you you said recently. I'm like, what? No, no, no. Uh, About 10 years ago. But she took a picture of the front of the house, and and Florence was standing in the window or someone. No way. You could see just a clear image. It's crazy. Send me that picture. I ran upstairs and looked. I was like, there's no way. There's a lamp casting a shadow or something. But no, there was nothing. Please send me the picture. I want to post it so people can see it. See, if that had happened to me, Barnes, I would have been out of there and Rebecca is still working there. Yeah, I don't need I don't need any extra ghostage. Yeah, running around. Okay, well this is Well, they haven't done anything bad to me yet. So as long as they stay civil, I'm good with being here. Tell people how to find Green Manor if they if they dare. Okay, so we are actually located in Union City, but we are over near the police station and um, the Mayor's Park and all across from Roosevelt Highway. And it's near uh, where Flat Shoals uh, dead ends coming out into uh, near Roosevelt Highway. Nice. and The big brick mansion with white columns. Have you ever heard of 99X before? Oh, I listen to y'all every single day. Oh, you do? Yeah, my radio stays on uh, 100.5 at all times. See, I think I think Florence Westbrook, the ghost, likes us as well. Can we count her as a listener because we're running short? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, Thank you, you got to go check it out. I, I don't know if I... I guess I Come could on, be bra- brave enough. Uh, the historic Green Manor Restaurant in Union City. Give out the number of the website so people can find you. It's greenmanor.biz. All right, Rebecca, Thank thanks you. for scaring us on Halloween. No, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. The Morning X with Burns and Leslie. <laughs>